Minecraft. A game where you can do everything. Build everything. Create everything. Be it you're strolling through a dark forest in survival or building your new invention in creative. There's always something you can do. Besides that, there's something else that's magical. It gives you feelings of joy, sadness, calmness and nostalgia. Of course, I'm talking about the soundtrack. Each piece made to convey emotions and situations. Be it exploring an underwater temple to simply building your new house in the early morning. As good as they are, some are better than others. So today I will be ranking all the tracks in C418's Volume Alpha, excluding the music discs. Do keep in mind that this is all purely subjective. Everyone can have different tastes in music and different memories that come with that music. For now, this will be my experiences with them. There's a lot of them, so sit back, relax, maybe grab a cup of coffee and enjoy. It's very echoey, a distant melody playing in the distance. Named as nuance1.ogg in the files, it contains a lot of ambience. Apparently it's just subwoofer lullaby slowed down with a lot of echo. It kind of feels like distant memories calling out to you, making you feel like you're forgetting something. Which fits perfectly with the previous statement. This track doesn't feel special. It has no memorable melody that you can hum along to, but it sure does put some kind of emotion in you. It's a D. Next up, Door is a strange one. First of all, it sounds like a direct continuation of Key. If you listen to this directly after, you can barely guess Key already ended. Besides that, Door isn't even in the game anymore. I don't know what it was called in the game files, neither do I know when it would have played. The only description I can find about Door is, quote unquote, welcome. It's mysterious, but it sounds oddly cheerful and it has a nice tone to it. See you too. It sure does sound like a lullaby. C418 says he imagines this song playing on a subwoofer on overdrive somewhere in the distant forest. I'll be honest, if I heard this while walking through a vast forest, I would be creeped out. Besides the creepy thought put in my head, this song really does capture the feeling of strolling through a forest. Not lost, just walking. No clear goal that you're walking towards, just peaceful nature. With the amount of reverb, the melody slash lullaby, and the description combined, I think it's a beat here. I don't think I need to explain. <laughs> it's not in the game for obvious reasons and I don't think I would want to hear it either way. F tier. Living Mice. It's exactly the opposite of Dead Mouse, you know? It's called the Hell2.ogg in the files and I would not have a single clue what Hell means. I don't personally feel any certain emotion with this track for some reason. I don't know, but it sounds alright. <laughs> <laughs> 
See you too. Ah, Moog City. This song holds so much nostalgia for me. It used to be a track that would play on the main menu, but later got replaced with Moog City 2, because it's a bit too loud, energetic, I don't know, but it's a shame, because I really like this one. It's easily memorable, gives me a strong feeling of nostalgia, and it's just all around nice to listen to. Up and down, up and down, it's an A. Beautiful. The melody is so memorable and catchy. It sounds so innocent, giving me the feeling of simple, calm fun. Hextrum was named after game soundtrack producer Matthias Hextrum Gert, also known as Anasu. Playing around in Minecraft with your friends on a hot summer night, this track ringing makes me feel like I'm back at that time. So that's why it's an A tier. Sorry, but as good as it is, it's still missing something. Minecraft. It's the main theme. Calm, memorable, nostalgic, it has it all. That same bittersweet melody playing on repeat while the strings fade in in the background. The memory sealed within this one piece of music, amazing. Besides that, I do feel like I need to say that it isn't perfect. Being the second longest track in the volume alpha, while not moving from the same melody does get a little annoying after a while. That's why I think a beat here is a good fit. Bit of a break from the bittersweet nostalgia filled tracks before this one, it's just ambience. No melody, just this. Don't really like to listen to it to be honest, but a little bit of ambience never hurt nobody, so it's an E. It sounds kind of sad. Like Minecraft, it's mostly just the same melody over and over again. But considering this is one of the shorter ones, I don't really mind all that much. It has a nice build up and like I said, it has a bit of a sad tone to it. I don't know. It's decent, but makes me a bit sad. See it here. Alright, so Apples wanted me to give my own take for Mice and Venus and I think it's one of my favorite tracks in the Minecraft Alpha or Beta OST since it really just brings back memories, like I, you know, for me. 
because like i used to go to like my neighbor's house to play minecraft on the ps4 with them and whenever minecraft booted up that song played and it just brings you back to the times when things were a bit more simple and like life wasn't stressful at all and everything you know before my youtube before um doing stressful things or like things that make me worry and overthink yeah this song just brings me at peace and i guess that's all i have to say Mats and links are in the description for those curious. Named as piano1.ogg in the files, Dry Hands sure is that. A simple, short piano melody, nothing more and nothing less. I personally don't have much to say about it, but that differs per person, I guess. Be tier. Wet Hands, like Dry Hands, is a piano melody, but it's a lot better in my opinion. Bass notes that go up and down, the nice melody, my nostalgia with this song, it's good. Being another short and sweet one, it's a nice melody that can come on when you're just simply enjoying survival Minecraft, building your new house. It's really kind of a bummer that it's this short to be honest. S tier. I love the strength of Clark. It fills me with such a nice feeling of calmness and peace. Although the melody itself isn't as memorable as the rest, it does give off a good vibe. Not much else to say about it to be honest. There's nothing exceptionally good, but also nothing bad. Aether. Another one that was never added to the game, but still pretty decent. Because of it not being added to Minecraft itself, I have no big memories or anything with Chris. Which has been a big boost for most of the other tracks. It's just decent. Nothing more, nothing less. That's why it's a sin. Excuse makes me feel lonely. Solitude, loneliness. The realization kicked in that you really are the only person in this world. Yeah, we have villagers, but do they really count as people? Can you call a villager a friend? No. That's what this song makes me feel. And if it's not meant to do that, I don't know what it's meant for. Easy beat here. What can I say, really? We all saw this easy ass tear coming, really. I see this track as the main theme of Minecraft more than the actual track that's called Minecraft. Being one of the oldest tracks, it has the most memories, the most emotions packed in this one simple song. I love it so much. The one song that will always stick with me. Yeah, 
of course, Sweden is an S. one is the most nostalgic. I used to play Minecraft on my dad's computer at my now dead grandma's house. Music on and enjoying life. Life was simple back then. At least simpler than now with the big sea going around. This song, or at least the first half of it, is stuck in my mind whenever I'm just calmly playing Minecraft. God, I can just feel the memories of all the things I used to do in Minecraft flowing in from all the way back when. Esther. It's kind of ironic that the last song on this list is called Beginning. But you know what they say? Every beginning has an end, but every end makes way for a new beginning. Besides the poetry, this track is really nothing special. I don't know, I don't really like it all that much. I think that this used to be a track that plays on the menu, but I don't know for sure. D tier. And that's it. That's most of the tracks on Volume Alpha, excluding the music discs and that. I had loads of fun going through all these, rating them and rambling on about what I thought of them. I hope it didn't sound too pretentious. <laughs> if you want me to do more of these scripted commentary style videos, please let me know as I wouldn't really mind making more. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.